Hi there. I'm here to show you how to log into the Navy Family Accountability and Assessment System, also referred to as NFAS. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a computer with an internet connection. Once you've got that, go ahead and open an internet browser window. Next, enter the NFAS web address into the address bar. The web address is https colon forward slash forward slash navyfamily.navy.mil. I'm going to hit enter and that is going to take me to what is known as the NFAS splash page. A security notice is going to pop up to let me know that this is a secure site. I am going to click OK. Then I'm going to look over at the left hand side of the screen underneath Navy Military, Civilians, CONUS, Contractors and their families. I will find a button that says click here. Since this is the category I fall under, I'm going to hit this button. When I hit this button, the login screen will appear. Once this screen opens up, you will see that I have three options for accessing NFAS. I can utilize my common access card. I can use a username and password. Or I can enter personal information to get into this site. If you want to use your common access card, you're going to need a common access card reader that you can plug into your computer. You will need to know your PIN to use this option. If you don't have a common access card reader, that's okay. The preferred method to access NFAS is actually the next option, using a username and password. What are the username and password? The username is going to be the sponsors.mil primary address. The password will be his or her date of birth and the last four of his or her social security number. If you don't have this information, then you can go with the third option, which is called the limited access option. For this option, you will use the service member's personal information, so you will need the sponsor's social security number, date of birth, and last name. Keep in mind, however, if you use the limited access login method, you will not be able to access everything in NFAS you will only be able to view the page that shows you the sponsor's contact information. You will not have the ability to update information for family members, complete a needs assessment, or look at any of the reference information that is available in NFAS. Ideally, you will use a username and password to access NFAS, so why don't I go ahead and show you just how easy this is. First, I'm going to type in the sponsor's email address and password. Now the password is going to default to the year, month, day, social security number format I mentioned earlier. Entering four digits for the year, two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and then the last four of the sponsor's social security number. I'm going to hit enter or click login and I am now logged into NFAS. It was as simple as that. Once you log in, you will be on the assessment tab. Click on the My Info tab of NFAS. This tab will allow you to update your information. You will see there are several other tabs at the top of the screen that contain additional information, but this is a video about logging in. Go ahead and try logging in on your own. Update your information, be ready, be prepared.